Hey there, welcome in. Coach Hoppe from the DJCoach.com here to talk about getting music today. How do we get music into Serato DJ Lite to then be able to use on our Hercules DJ Control Impulse 300 MK2 controller? I'm going to show you a couple of different ways. Number one, maybe you already have some MP3s. I know not everybody still collects MP3s, but maybe you have MP3s from a while ago or you just have MP3s that you've been downloading. This is great because you can move those over to Serato. Number two, we can download music packs from Hercules.com and I'll show you all about how we can do it and where that music lives and it's all for free. So awesome, such a great resource. And number three, we can plug in a streaming service such as Beatport Link, Beat Source Link, uh, Tidal or SoundCloud Go. I'll show you how we do it. So because our first two options involve getting MP3s and bringing them into Serato DJ Lite, we're just gonna go ahead and download some music from the Hercules pack. So I'm gonna go to Hercules.com, I'm gonna go to the official music tab, and then we are going to see all of these options for us to be able to download. So I'm gonna download some Hercules DJ Ready tracks, and you'll just need to make sure that you use your login. If you don't have one, you'll need to create a login, and then you will have access to all this music. Now once I've done that, I can unzip my tracks. Here they are. And all I need to do is drag these into Serato. So one way to do this is to open up a window where your tracks are, grab the tracks that you want, I can select all of them. Uh, quick tip here, in case you don't know, all I did was hold shift and clicked and that got all of my tracks. And then I'm gonna go ahead and drag these into a new crate. So I can now call this Tropical. And now, if I load up the tracks, we have them right here. The music inside of the Hercules official music packs are awesome and a really great way to get started. But at some point, you may want to start bringing in your own music, things that you already have inside of playlists that you listen to on a regular basis, or songs that you feel like would work at a party that aren't just instrumental tracks or songs to practice with. So here comes streaming. This would be an additional cost. You would subscribe to an outside service and that service would plug into Serato DJ Lite. So your options here, Beatport, Beat Source, SoundCloud Go, and Tidal. Now you might notice that some of you may be using Apple Music or Spotify. Unfortunately, Apple Music and Spotify at this moment do not connect up with any of the DJ software, including Serato DJ Lite. However, there are some really great options with these four streaming services. And let me show you how we can set this up. We're gonna click on settings. We're gonna to go to this area right here, and this is from library and display. That's the tab that I'm on. I have to check show streaming services, and then I can choose between any of these. And you'll see to the right, there's a way to log in. So you can only be logged into one streaming service at a time inside of Serato DJ Lite. So I'm gonna click on SoundCloud. We're gonna actually use our SoundCloud Go account. And in this case, we're gonna go ahead and log in. So what we can do is we can search through all of SoundCloud by coming over here to the far right where my search bar is. If I go ahead and click on the SoundCloud icon, now I'm actually searching through all of SoundCloud Go and the library that's there. So I typed in Avicii, we'll see what pulls up. Okay, so we've got some different options. Uh, let's go ahead and pull up, yeah, sure. Here we go. I loaded onto the deck, I used shift left to load. It's now there on the deck. And let's see if we can, nice. All right. So if I wanted to add this to a playlist, what I could do is I could come over here above where my crates are, and you'll see that I can make crates, regular orange crates, or I can make these playlists. These playlists will be a SoundCloud playlist. So if I click on add, it'll create a new playlist, and now I can drag and drop my songs from SoundCloud into my SoundCloud playlist. I can even rename the playlist, have a playlist, 
And now the cool thing about this is if I go to my SoundCloud app or if I go to my SoundCloud account um, on the web, I'll actually see these playlists. So this is a really great way of adding music on the go. And then when you get to Serato DJ Lite, you can open up Lite and you'll see your playlist that you created even on the mobile app, which is awesome. And this is a really great way to be able to access and utilize millions of songs. Well, there you have it. Now we have access to millions of songs. However, I do want to point out that you do need to be connected to the internet and have strong Wi-Fi connection in order to be DJing with the streaming service. So if you're DJing at a gig and there's just bad Wi-Fi or no Wi-Fi, you won't have access to this music. This is why still currently one of the safest bets and one of the things that we do as professional DJs is still download MP3s. I know it sounds crazy, but it's such a really great thing to be able to not have to worry about the strength of the Wi-Fi connection, at least right now. Hopefully that ends up changing in the near future. In the meantime, though, there are plenty of ways to get music into your library. Have fun with these tracks. I'll see you on the next one.